Welcome to Fog of Gaming and welcome to a brand new Sniper Rifle in Warzone, the Ritek AMR. Today we're gonna check out the best loadout for this brand new weapon. We're gonna check out what it does to the weapon sway, what it does to your muzzle velocity. We're gonna show you some of the stats, but more importantly, we're gonna check out all the different attachments and see what the effect is on this brand new Sniper Rifle. So, let's get started. We're gonna stand right over here and we're gonna use this wall for our bullet pattern test and our weapon sway test. First things first, this is our basic AMR, so let's see what it can do. It comes with a high magnification scope, however this is way too high. It looks like a 12x scope and it's almost unusable because the zoom is way too much, so we'll have to change that later. But take a look at the weapon's way. Look at how much it moves around. It's not gonna be easy for you to aim at your target, so let's say that this is our enemy's head. So the red uh, circle here with the blue inside. Let's say you scope in and I'm gonna try to aim at his head and then I'm not gonna do anything anymore. So I'm just gonna let the scope stand where it stands. So at his head, there. See, it's almost impossible. I'm trying to move my mouse constantly to get it center on his head and it's almost impossible. So we're gonna try again. I'm just gonna go left and let it go. And it's pretty much impossible to aim at the guy's head. Even when I constantly try to adjust for the weapon's way, it's pretty much impossible. So we'll have to change that. Okay, we're back in our original position, but now we have the variable zoom scope attached. So let's see what that looks like. And this is already much better, but take a look at the scope sway. It's still exactly the same as before. So your weapon scope did not change anything, which is pretty normal. It makes sense. Let's zoom in to 12.6x. And it seems that the original scope from the AMR is not a 12x. It looks more like an anything between an 8 and a 10x, something like that. But again, pretty much unusable. I just put my marker exactly on the guy's head and see how far it drifts away from it. So we'll have to do something about that. There is a small trick that you can use to improve your weapon sway. And that trick lies in using the right stock, which in this case is the XRK Mastodon. It improves your aiming stability, but has a penalty on the aim walking movement speed. But it's fine, we will accept that. XRK Mastodon, okay, back in the game. And let's see what this looks like. So if we aim our at our enemy's head, you can see that the sway is much smaller now. It sort of circles your enemy's head and it doesn't really drift away from it anymore. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can clearly see what's going on. So you're pretty much hovering around in the neighborhood of your enemy's head. Pretty easy to compensate for this. Much better than before. So we got our first attachment nailed down. Choosing for the right barrel can make a world of difference in Warzone. So in this case you'll have to go for the FTAC 7 straight. Improving your damage range, your bullet velocity and your recoil control. However, you will have the downsides on your aim down side speed and your movement speed. The damage range is pretty nice actually. Your basic weapon has a damage drop of point at 61 meters. However, with FTAC 7 straight you can extend that to 85.5 meters which is pretty nice. Bullet loss device, the basic weapon, 427 meters per second. With this barrel, you will extend that to 445 meters per second. However, in the grand scheme of things, this is a very slow firing weapon. The biggest downside of this barrel is a penalty on the aim down sight speed. The basic weapon has an ADS speed of 679 milliseconds, but you can quick scope from 340 milliseconds. By using the FTAC 7 straight, you're adding 115 milliseconds to that, so that is a big downside. One of the downsides of this barrel is that the weapon sway is increased slightly, about 10 to 20% more. As you can see, I'm not just circling the head anymore, I'm circling the area around that as well. We have a few items set up already, which is great. So let's start off with our first smaller bullet pattern test. I'm gonna shoot on the wall at exactly this spot and we're gonna see what happens to the recurl, so the upward kick what happens after shooting your first shot. Oh, wow, what a kick, huh? that is quite some distance. So consecutive shots will be very difficult to make. So let's call it this beam, that's sort of where we ended up after shooting in this spot. So what I'm gonna change now, let's change the ammunition. So let's go to our weapon, let's change your ammunition to the explosive rounds. But I will tell you why in a second. I first want to show you what's gonna happen. So let's respawn and I'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back here, but this time with the explosive round. So let's see what happens now. Same spot. Upward kick. Slightly heavier. A slightly higher upward kick. So we ended up here before, now we're ending up on the second beam. So that one over there. You might be wondering why I'm showing you the ammunition at this point. The secret lies in the time to kill. With the normal ammunition, 
you will be looking at a time to kill for headshots of 364 milliseconds. But it means that you will have to shoot two headshots in order to kill. So this is not a one shot kill weapon in Warzone. For body shots you will need 727 milliseconds to kill, but it means that you will have to shoot them 3 times, which is incredibly difficult to do with this recoil pattern. The upward kick is just way too large. The secret lies with the explosive max. One headshot, one kill, no matter what the range. The great thing is, if you go for let's say chest shots or stomach shots, you will need 638 seconds and you only have to shoot them twice, which is still not that easy to do with this uh, upward kick, but it's doable at least. As you can see, we have the majority of our weapons set up already with our four attachments, so we have one more attachment slot open. What you could do is use sleight of hand, because the reload time is terrible to be honest. It takes 5.469 seconds to reload this weapon, so it makes sense to do this, however there's always something else that is better. Now could you use a laser? Yes you can, with a few benefits on your aim down side speed, your aiming stability, your aim walking steadiness, but the laser is visible to enemies, and for a sniper this means that you're going to die. It's terrible to put a laser on a sniper, I will never recommend it, so please don't do this. You have a rear grip that you could use, you could go for recoil control, yeah okay sure, let's check this out. Okay, let's focus on the recoil control, let's see where our weapon is gonna end up. It's slightly better than without this attachment, but the difference is between your weapon ending the, up at this level or at that level. So it's pretty much negligible and you can easily compensate for that small difference. So we're not gonna do that. So what else can we do? Let's remove this thing first. So we got aiming stability and aim walking steadiness. Okay, let's give that a try. So it said aiming stability, but... The weapon's way is unchanged, everything is still the same. It still varies the same distance as before without this thing, so it doesn't work. Okay, let's change over to the stippled grip tape for aim down side speed and sprint to fire speed. However, there is a downside on the aiming stability, but as you just saw, the advantage of the st aiming stability was almost negligible, we didn't really see it. So maybe this downside is something that we don't see neither, let's check it out. Unfortunately the difference is quite noticeable. I can really see the difference between the sway pattern and this is a little bit too much to be good for you. Let's zoom out a little bit and if you try to put your target on your head it's still doable. You could get away with this especially on the PC but it's not ideal so we'll have to choose something else. However aim down side speed is much better. That's one big benefit that you have now. You could go for an underbarrel. however the only option we have is a bipod. Which means that you will pretty much have to be stationary when you take your shot. And as we all know, a stationary guy is a dead guy in Warzone, so this is not a good idea. The last thing that we have is a muzzle. Two options, the XRK tank brake or the Ritec AMR suppressor. This doesn't suppress the sound, this does. And this gives a very big advantage in Warzone. However, let's check out the difference before we make our decision. XRK tank brake, recall stabilization, which is great. However, a penalty on the aim down side speed and the aiming stability. Let's see where a bullet now ends up with this attachment. So we're shooting here. And it definitely ends up slightly lower than before. Actually significantly lower before. So we're ending up on this line here now. And before we ended up here or here. Depending on the attachments that we used. So this is definitely a big improvement. So let's check out the other one. So instead of the extra gate tank break. We also have the right tech AMR suppressor. With the suppressor we'll fire another shot. And as you can see, the recurl is a lot worse. So we're now ending up, let's say, at the top of this beam and before we ended up over here. So this is a very big difference. This is something you'll have to take into account. As you could see, the XRK tank break is much better and your recoil control will benefit from this because your second adjustment for the follow-up shot, because remember, sometimes you'll have to shoot your enemy twice, so the adjustment you have to make with the tank break is much smaller than with the suppressor. However, you have to ask yourself, do you want to give away your position by not using a suppressor? My answer is no. Start with this and then you can still decide later on, but overall, a suppressor is a good thing in Warzone. So this is our best loadout for Warzone for the Ritec AMR. However, once you get better with the weapon, one could argue that you could live without a barrel. Now why do I say that? The barrel changes or improves your damage range. However, with the explosive rounds, there is no damage drop of point, so it doesn't matter. 
so the extension of your damage range has no impact. What does have an impact is a bullet velocity. Remember, you're getting 119 meters per second more. This is something you have to keep in mind, because you will have to lead your targets in a very different way. You have to aim above their heads in a very different way as well. What I would recommend is to start playing with this barrel, get used to the weapon, because for example the Kar 98K's muzzle velocity is twice as large as this weapon's muzzle velocity. And this is something that you're gonna have to get used to, it takes some time to get used to this slower muzzle velocity, that's just the way it is. Once you get better, and if you're really good with this, you might be able to get away with this, because the only advantage that you have is bullet velocity and recoil control. But the aim down sight penalty is way too large for this to make sense. So just for this weapon, I would recommend you to take this away, once you get good with this, and choose something else. What I would recommend, and this is more aimed towards the pro players, is to use the stippled grip tape. Why? For your aim down side speed, because that is much faster, and your sprint to fire speed. However, your aiming stability is worse, so in that case, to counter that, you can hold your breath. But this is something you have to get used to as well. Not many people are used to doing this constantly. So, zoom in, hold your breath, and then fire. Remember, you only have a limited time to do that. So let's quickly show you how that goes. So if you just zoom in like this, you're just gonna have a weapon sway. So I'll put my marker here on the guy's head, I'll let it sway. I'll even zoom in for you to make it more clearly to see. And with this attachment, of course, you're going to have a lot more weapon sway. So let's put it a little bit closer to the middle so you can clearly see the difference. How far it goes away from our enemy's head. So just a little bit more. So it's uh, a little bit more centered. And you can see it goes top right, top right, top left, top, far left. So you'll have to do something about this because it's not that easy to keep it centered. You can. It's more an exercise of uh, aiming, but then you're fighting your scope constantly. So what you can do, as soon as you're aiming down sights, you press the button to hold your breath. For me, that is shift. So I'll tell you what, exactly when I'm doing this. So zoom in, press it now, and everything's stable. Done. You can shoot at the guy's head. However, there's a timer on this, and now it goes away. So that's why I mean it's more suited for the pro players, because not everybody can zoom in on their target fast enough, and then decide to take the shot while holding their breath until the timer runs out. So there you have it guys, the best loadout for the brand new sniper rifle in Warzone, the Ritek AMR. So first off, variable zoom scope to make it easy and to have two ranges at which you can shoot at. And that makes it much easier for long range kills and normally short to medium range kills. With a sniper rifle of course. Then the Ritek AMR suppressor for sound suppression. Doesn't matter the damage range but you have a small penalties that come with it but that's the way it is. The explosive rounds for that one shot headshot kill. Because that's what matters in Warzone, right? And of course, two shots to the body instead of three, which is much better. Stippled grip tape, but this is for the pro players. So let's remove this and let's bring the barrel back. This is what I would recommend you to start out with. f 7 straight for the barrel. And of course, the extra cape Mastodon to improve your weapon sway. For the pro players, remove this. Get the rear grip in here, the stippled grip tape. For aim down side speed, because that's going to allow you to aim down on your target a much faster, but you will have to hold your breath every time you take a shot just to make your life a whole lot easier. Okay guys, this was the initial video about the new weapon in Warzone, the Ritek AMR. There will be a full weapon guide about this weapon and there will be a lot more videos covering this weapon, the benefits, the downsides, how to use it and the best ways to use this in Warzone. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, sub because it means a whole lot to me. It's a very big difference for my channel. And I hope you appreciate this video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Take care guys.